Well, another important operation with arrays is to find, for example, the most frequent element in the array. This, this illustrates how to compare things within the array, not just two arrays with each other. This is much like finding the minimum. We're going to keep track of which number is the one that appears the most times. <clears throat> so uh, you should definitely watch the video about finding the minimum element, the smallest integer in an array, to understand this one better. Anyways, we have an array here that I have the typical class uh, uh, write-up. So I'm in my main method right now. We're going to find the most frequent number in the array. So say I have an array like this. You can have the user enter the array. doesn't matter. But say you end up with an array like this. In this case, you see that 1 is not the most frequent. 30 appears 1, 2 times. 2 appears 1, 2, 3 three times and five appears one two times so the most frequent number here is two and the frequency is three because it appears three times right so the first thing we're going to do to find the the most frequent numbers we're going to have uh, a placeholder to hold the element that's the most frequent and the count how many times it shows up so we're going to create two integer variables the element which I'm going to start at zero just because and it's a type int because the elements of the array are ints. If I had strings in this array, then the most common string would be a string, and not an int. So element would be a string. And then int count, which is the number of times it appears that's always going to be an int. So then I'm going to go through the array. And what I'm going to do is I'm, for each, see, I'm going to go, make j go from 0 to the array.length, right, minus 1. So in this case, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, because um, there's eight elements in the array. Now, for each one, say, for example, I'll grab the first one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how many times does 1 appear in this array. So I need another for loop, one for loop to pick the number that I'm examining, and then another for loop to go through the array and seeing if that, uh, if that number shows up. Now for that I'll do a little, a little bit of like work before. I'm going to create a temporary element, which is what is the element that I'm looking at. It's going to be array sub j. So this is r, array sub j. So in this case, if j is 0, then it's going to be number 1, temp element is number 1. If j is, two, is 1, temp element is 30. If j is 2, then temp element is 2. If j is 3, temp element is 3, and so on and so forth. So temp element is going to hold the, the element that I'm examining. And it's going to be an int because the elements of the array are ints. And then I'm going to have an int temp count. So I'm going to count for each element that I explore, I'm going to count how many times it shows up. right? And to count how many times these elements show up, well, I'll have another for loop. In this case, I chose variable p that goes from 0 to the length of the array. And what I'm going to do is, if the element at p, so if array sub p is equal to the temp element, right, so if the array sub p, so the element that I'm looking at, is equal to the element that I'm examining, then I'll add 1 to the count. So the array at p is equal to the temp element that I'm examining, then I'm going to increase the temporary count for this, for this element, okay? So say for example I'm looking at, uh, at 30, right, so my temp element would be 30, my temp count starts at 0, and then I'm going to go for the whole array looking for the number 30. So I'll say, is this 30? No. Is this array sub p equal to temp element? Yes. Count is 1. Is this equal to temp element? No. Is this equal to temp element? No. Is this equal to temp element? No. Is this one equal to temp element? Yes. So then count increases. Okay. Is this equal to temp element? No. Is this equal to temp element? No. All right. So then temp count will end up being 2, which is the frequency with which my temp element shows up. Now what I do is I will compare the frequency to the overall frequency here. So I'm going to say if temp count is greater than count, that means that I found one element that has that that happens more frequently than my previous count, right? So if the temp count is greater than my global count, okay, then that means that um, 
then that means that the new element that has the most counts is the temp element that I was just examining and that the count for that element is my temp count right that's this if then after that I'm gonna go off to this for loop the outer for loop to examine the next number and the next number and the next number and the next number and what will happen is for some temp count is not going to be greater than count and for for others temp count is going to be greater than count and then they will become the most frequent element lastly I'll just print the most frequent element is whatever element and the frequency is whatever I store in count so we can compile this and run it and we'll see that the most element in this array the most frequent element is 2 and the frequency of that is 3 because the number 2 1 2 Three appears three times. Now, as a quick exercise, we can try and make this um, and make this be, for example, a method that will will uh, deal with an array of integers. Okay, so let's change a few things here. Let's say this is a string array. I mean, uh, an array of strings, a string array, and has the following strings: hello, goodbye. Hello, bye, bye. All right. And then we're going to put another hello here. Hello. So the most frequent string here is hello, clearly. Now, the beauty of operating like this with P's and not P's, Q's, temp counts, and variables is that we don't have to refer to each element of the array. It's not fixed. So if we change this to strings, there are a few things that need to change. The temp element must be a string. The global element must be a string, right? Because elements in this array are strings. We'll initialize it to an empty string. Okay? Now, um, temp count is still a, an integer. I'm still going to examine. Temp element is going to have that. And I'm going to go over the array examining. Now, the equals, equals changes because array sub p now, this part here, is a string and strings do not compare with the double equal sign they compare with the equals method remember that equals temp element so I'm going to check whether the, the string is equal to temp element and increase the count everything else stays the same so let's compile this and let's run it, it says the most frequent element is hello and the frequency is 3 which is correct. So you can see that by coding in this way with variables, there's very little that I have to change to change from into strings. If I needed an array of doubles, again, I change this type double in here and all that. Okay. So that's how you would compare. Uh, that's how you would detect the frequency, which element is the most frequent in an array.